Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome to CD2. That's right. We are going to try to get some breakfast. Yep. Um, we gained an hour yesterday. We think. But checking in the app today, the ship's time has not changed. No, so it says the dining room closes in like 10 minutes. But it should like be an hour. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go see if we can get in the dining room. Mm -hmm. um, let's go. Let's <laughs> run. <laughs> There we go, 8.23, that is correct. And the app says 9.23. Oh, that is zooming advertised here on deck four. Oh, the app changed? Clever. So this is the lower level of Aquarius. Oh, like you said, pretty busy this morning. actually been on this level in the atrium yet. Excuse me, Centrum. This is like the R bar. Let's see, we may do a little bit of exploring today. Let's go to the top of the world. Welcome to Deck 11. So this is Viking Crown Lounge, top of the world. I call this the observatory, but they have a separate area called observatory. I think they may have the concierge lounge up top. And then the stairway to Izumi. Mm -hmm. Oh, nope, Concierge Club is, well, we don't have access to it, but it is over here through that cool door. Oh, they've got a sign out here off the front that says Pinnacle Club Lounge. Hmm. I don't know if that's a permanent thing. Well, assuming we are allowed to be in here, and it's not just for Pinnacle right now, we'll just chill. Look at the ocean. Oh, those are moving. Oh. Yeah, things are vibrating on the ship today. Maybe I won't sit directly under the chandelier. Well, that's a good bit of ocean looking. I think we'll head on and locate some activities. Welcome back to deck six. Oh, it's morning trivia time in Schooner. Very popular. We're back here in the secondary lounge, which is <laughs> some enchanted evening. We're having a Spanish lesson back here right now. Well, we are gonna sneak into the diamond lounge. See what they got going on. Well, sandwiches and stuff again, yeah. You first cappuccino, you first loud cappuccino, didn't you? I hope so. They've got the salami cheese baguette, parma ham baguette again, fruit. Oh, looks like they got, I think that's a mudslide cookie in the oatmeal raisin today. Still steaming away over here. Let's check out their tea options. Well, let's see if they've changed events. Oh, nope, that might be the end of the Spanish. So this is the Royal Mystery Game. I think this is very similar, if not the same thing that we saw on, was it Enchantment, maybe? Sort of a puzzle-style game. Yeah. For Royal Mystery, as we say, this is a massive clue game. We need teams of 7 to 10 people. So where am I? I have a very nice team right here. Here I have another team and another one in the back. We need uh, one per team to come and grab one envelope and some pencils. Now we need got that our evidence back at you. So much. <laughs> we have the prime suspects of this case. You have evidence, puzzles, profiles and much much more inside your envelope. To solve the case we need to survey the area for clues. Now you do not only have evidence on your envelope, you also have, we have evidence scattered all around the venue. If you're doing the puzzle of the symbol of a car, you're going to put the answer of the puzzle with the symbol of a car in the car that has the symbol of a car. So once you get the answer to your puzzle, you take your answer here, we analyze and we're going to tell you if you're right or if you're wrong. Oh yes, footprints on the floor. Okay, this is vaguely familiar, but um, we did not smart brain this. So this is All right, we turned in our paper, we're locked in. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, sounds like noontime announcement, but it was very quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's a little rocky. Ooh, I like that thing. Yeah, let's jump back to the dining room and have some lunch. It's a dining room kind of day. 
Yeah, currently 12.30. They're serving for another half hour. Yeah, a little busy, so they have been encouraging sharing tables for breakfast and lunch, which is cool. There is our menu. Look what we found. The apple blossom has made it to the lunch menu. Mm. And clean. It's that time. Well, you know, we just had lunch in the video. <laughs> now it's time for dinner. Lazy sea day. May have come back and had lazy sea day nap time. I'll probably still have pillow lines on my face. But <laughs> so, we'll forgive you. It could be a thing. So it is French night in the MDR. Yeah. I want some French. I'm, oh, wait, let me not give it away. I can't tell you what I'm going to get. Now. It's a lot of the things they've had on their classic menus that they've just incorporated into one night. But I think there are a few new options, maybe. All right. We're gonna go look at it yes. and see what the heck else we do on this lazy sea day. Sounds good. Huh, come <laughs> on. Well, the line is about as long as it typically is, and we are moving. We're early tonight. Oh, the sign is back tonight. Hmm. It looks like it'll be less than a 10 minute wait tonight. Oh la la, let's take a peek at the menu. All right, let me stop that and we'll just see what's on here. Some of the stuff is a little uh, Italian. And granted, there is an Indian dish every night and I have been ordering the Indian dish no matter what the theme. But I might, I might swap it up tonight. Let's look at our bread selection. Is it all French bread? Oh, there's some, you know, baguette looking things in there. <laughs> There's a whisper challenge game going on out here in the centrum. <laughs> oh, we've come up to the theater again for showtime and this popcorn is still tempting. All right, not quite open yet. Just so let's stand over here by our very festively dressed friend. Masquerade. There we go. The floodgates are open and I'm first in line. Woohoo! Take another little peek around the theater here. Got a fly on entertainer tonight. So this is Paul Boland and I believe we might have seen him on a ship previously. I'm not sure if he's the one who does uh, like impersonations while singing. We'll have to see. If you do take pictures with the mobile devices, please be mindful of your screen brightness level. Your cruise director is May! So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to take you on a trip to memory lane. Now, tonight, this is going to turn into a concert. This gentleman, he's a singer, he's an impressionist, He's coming all the way from the USA. And he's tonight for your entertainment. He has been performing all around the globe in the different Royal Caribbean ships. Jerry Seinfeld, I see skies of blue. Cable 
little guy. She missed around his fella named Smokey. Loved him, though he was cocky. Barney Fife. not over in case you're going to the centrum we have hash silent disco and you can try with the headphones a different way to party also we have the casino open live music the club is open and tomorrow exciting news we're gonna be where Costa Rica let me help you with some Spanish everybody say buenos dias that means good morning now you can say donde esta el baño that means where is the restaurant maybe after a few empanadas you might need it okay lovely weather tomorrow as well the forecast is going to be sunny and all the information you need to know will be on channel number one entertainment today please always tune that channel but have an amazing day tomorrow thank you for coming tonight good night <laughs> The loudest party of the whole cruise is happening right now. Oh, they're doing some kind of... Yeah, it looks like a cha-cha. Oh. Let's head into Schooner. Well, we shut the place down. We have come back to the cabin to find a cruise compass for tomorrow, Costa Rica, and some laundry specials. Good night. Good night. We are going to bed. Yes. Good night. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's talk about stuff. So now we're saving the dinner. Let's see. Dinner discussions. With D&J. With the, I don't know what we're, we, we're making this. up a name. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get a good title for this. Uh, we'll save that for the end. So yeah. tell me about, um, I guess, the show. The show was really good. We had seen him before, but it was yeah. slightly different material and a lot of any, um, interaction with the audience. There were some really funny audience there members were. that were just cracking up the whole time in the front row. Very lively crowd. Yeah. Um, but it was it was really good. He's yeah. very good at what he does. He's I been like royal for like 31 years mm -hmm. this year. So that's really impressive. Yeah, this set I like better than the set we saw last time. Same. So, yeah. But always good. Yeah. What else have we got to talk about? Adult Arcade? Psh, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> It's, it's okay. not being that kind today. It's being kinder to Jay than myself. That's definitely true. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess let's do dinner, yeah? Yeah. <gasps> Here's my pictures on the phone. So now you did double calamari. It was French night. Calamari French is calamari. French, right? It yeah, is. No. The calamari. Um, it was very good. The sauce was a little bit spicy, but I kind of liked that throat burn. It was nice. Nice. French onion well. soup. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll go. yeah. Calamari is yeah. easy to do wrong. Yeah. French onion soup, very cheesy, really well seasoned actually, so mm -hmm. I was impressed with that. Okay. Um, and I had a wedge salad, which, I mean, it was lettuce with blue cheese dressing and bacon, so it real tasted like that. <laughs> Can't really think of too much to say other than, I mean, I enjoyed it. 
Uh, let's see, you had beef bourguignon. Delicious. I've never seen it on the Royal Caribbean menu before. It comes with a little ah. pearl onions, which are good, and some rice to kind of like even out the flavor. But it was cooked perfectly and hot and seasoned really well. I tried it. It's good. It was good. <laughs> And I had the chicken cordon bleu, was, which was really good. It spilled on my shirt, so it was a little heavy. It fell off my fork. Uh, but no, it cooked well. Nice and crispy on the outside, cheesy and hammy on the inside. We've been rocking all We're day. We're still rocking. A lot. Um, I can't think of a lot of smart words to say about chicken cordon bleu other than, you know. There's it, ham and cheese in it. It's French. Now tell me about your little cake pie. So I've been getting the sugar-free desserts pretty much all week. And this is what, a coffee espresso chocolate cake? Something like that. It looks like that. It was delicious. Like, I would not have been able to tell you it was a, like a reduced sugar dessert. Loved it. If I see it on the menu, I'm going to get it every yeah. time. And if you're looking for a lighter dessert and you like coffee, I do recommend you try that. I tasted you it, liked too. it too. It was really like a sugar dessert. It was really good. It was that good. good. Yeah. Um, and then I had the little cream puffs, which were good. They were delicate and flaky. They weren't too dry in the middle and mm -hmm. they were creamy and puffy. <laughs> You guys like this segment? Smart words. This segment, y'all going to be like, please stop doing this. <laughs> and that's it. Yep. So tomorrow we're going to be in Costa Rica for the first time ever. We have a really fun adventure we planned. We are so excited. Or ambitious. Taking lots of pictures. Ooh. <laughs> y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to bed. Yes. Good night. Bye.